Villanova with that nerd show, and I am with the cinematographer of Screwdriver. And uh, first of all, tell me about the film. Uh, Screwdriver is a Palestinian film. Uh, it's a, a, a narrative feature which we made in Ramallah. It's directed by Bassam Jarbawi and it tells the story of a recently released political prisoner having been in, in a prison for 15 years. It's the story of him reassimilating back into his refugee camp in the West Bank. And how did you get involved with the film? I got involved with this film because the producer Srihari Sate, uh, an Indian producer, he and I had made a film, a Tibetan language film called The Street Requiem in, uh, in India about six months before under kind of similar, uh, similar conditions. Uh, and so he recommended me for the project to Bassam Jarbawi, the director. And we, Bassam and I met via Skype and uh, I really responded to the, the script. Uh, and you know, I was lucky enough to get invited onto the project. What has the response been like? Uh, and you know, in these like strange political times that we're living in, what how what was what has the response been like? Because you've been in Toronto, correct? Uh, yes, uh, the film the film was lucky to premiere uh, in Europe at the Venice Film Festival and to go mm -hmm. and have its North American premiere in Toronto. The um, the response has been overall very positive. Uh, I think that this is a, this is, the Palestinian-Israeli conflict is something that, that really, uh, you know, really polarizes people. Uh, and with that in mind, as I was getting involved with the film, I had to make sure I understood the director's intentions. He also, Bassam Jarbawi, also wrote the film. And I had to really make sure I knew what his, what he was trying to say. And when I realized that this is, uh, it's a very positive story. I, um, I mean, it's a hard, it's a hard film, and it's sad. But the message is one of, uh, you know, you know, is, is one of like hopefully hope. So uh, I, I feel like it's it's had a positive response based on that. We don't get to talk to many uh, cinematographers. You know, it's always like the director or right. whatever. So tell me, what was the hardest scene for you? in this film? Well, I don't know if I could say that there was the hardest scene in this film, but I would say, you know, the overall film is just very challenging, you know, as one of one of two Americans on the project, the rest being Palestinian. You know, it's hard to make a small film. It's hard to make a film in a different language. It's hard to make a film in a refugee camp. Yeah. So all of these kind of mounted in a way where it was, it was just a challenging film to begin with. Um, Working with a completely indigenous crew that mainly mainly only spoke Arabic, uh, that, you know, it's challenging. But you know, I, I I pride myself on being someone. I'm very well traveled, and uh, I pride myself on being someone who can who can kind of get past the language barriers and, and approach these things with a bit of a sense of humor. So uh, it was challenging, but it was definitely worth it. Um, so you worked with locals. What was the most surprising thing working with a crew that wasn't you know like a yeah, American well, crew. working you know working with an indigenous crew like we did, uh, mainly everyone was from the West Bank. Um, you know, it's you get in there and it's a matter of like I had never spent any time there, so it's a matter of me assimilating into the culture and finding out what the work ethic was like, what how to motivate people because someone in my position is you know I'm I oversee a big yeah. amount of the crew and so it's a uh, you know that's challenging. I have to kind of like slowly start to get to know people at the same time a film like this we only had we had 30 days to shoot it yeah so you know day one the gun goes off and we're sprinting but at the same time you have to be really respectful of, of what people are going to respond to so so we have one nerdy question for you sure in the nerd universe if you had a weapon of choice or a superpower of choice to defeat the forces of evil what would it be and why well the weapon of choice would definitely be a camera a camel a camera oh I mean I love camels too <laughs> a camera okay yeah. cool and that's my weapon of choice yeah. in the real world as well and what was the other what was the other part well you you had a weapon of choice or a superpower oh so. yeah I'm gonna go with the weapon of choice weapon of the choice. weapon of choice is the camera the camera great yeah, answer I'm a nerd. yeah there we Congra go. congratulations thank you so much for the interview. Andy, thank you so